My next guest is a beloved figure in the PC community because he literally helped build it. What started out over a decade ago as a small, quiet subreddit is now an online mecca for nearly 10 million PC enthusiasts. He is the founding father of the PC Master Race community, and after having the pleasure of getting to know him over the years, I can confidently say there's no one who loves PCs more than this man. I'm excited to welcome the one and only Pedro of PCMR. Well, I know you post for, for PCMR. Mm -hmm. Do you have your own personal channel or anything like that? Or is it just all PCMR for the most it's part? It's mostly PCMR. I do okay. uh, uh, Twitter. I actually got a Twitter just for Pedro. Just okay. for stuff that might not be PC right. related and stuff like that. But it's mostly PCMR. What, what, is, what are conventions or trade shows like this like for you? Because you're not the, the typical kind of YouTuber or yeah. social media. It's like, what's it like for you doing PCMR work? It's different, and it, 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 everyone t treats me differently, I guess, because I'm kind of like media, yeah, but not really, but kind of like influencer, but not yeah, really. Yeah, you're kind of in this weird in between, right? And then community, so, some yeah. some people yeah. have like community specific brands, so it's kind right. of everything. It really depends on who's talking to me. But sure. Yeah, it's what, what do you think is the biggest difference for our, from between what what you do here versus like me or like another tech YouTuber? I think it's very similar. Uh, maybe there's like. Uh, the added thing about community, yeah, because Reddit is a very specific uh, social media community, and not many people understand Reddit really well. Right. Of course, our community is like really big. I think it's the number one uh, Reddit community about PC and technology. Yeah, for sure. So it, that kind of makes it slightly different, I guess, because a lot of people want to learn more about Reddit, learn how to to engage on Reddit. A lot of yeah. like people actually have their own communities on Reddit, which right. they don't really understand or take too much care of. Yeah. And they like to talk to me, say what I think about them and, and stuff right. like that. So I guess just that small difference about the community side of things. Definitely. I feel like the PCMR community is so massive. I mean, you guys ha almost have like 10 mil right now. On, on Reddit, on yeah, Reddit. almost. Uh, it's almost insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When did you, you started what, 2011? 2011, yeah. That okay. was when I created the subreddit. So damn, it's like, it's well well over a decade old now. Yeah. Did you create that subreddit alone, like by yep. yourself? Really? The subreddit alone, yeah, yeah. What was your intention behind creating it? Like, did you ever, did you create it with the intention of it blossoming into this massive community that it is now, or was it just like a personal thing? Yeah, I guess no one is as blessed as I was in the fact that it did actually grow, but when I created it, I kind of wanted it to be a place, you know, there, there have always been places where you could be like super serious discussing tech stuff. Yeah. And places where, where you could just joke around and right. play, paste memes and stuff like that. But I don't think at the time, at least, there existed a place where you could do both. Right. So the same person could post like the weirdest meme about PCs. Sure. But on the next thread, they'll, they'll be like super erudite and competent about tech. Right. You know? So yeah. it's kind of, I, I always thought of it like a family, you know? Like yeah. your family, you have the fun stuff and the serious stuff. Right. And I think PCM kind of filled that role where it could be everything as long as you love PCs. Yeah, exactly. The content is welcome. Yeah, dude. What what, what did people do? There re really wasn't like a, a platform or a place for for that kind of like shared appreciation and, and just also a place to just have fun exactly. with tech and have fun with PCs again. And also learn a lot because th that's yeah. something very uh, very special I think about PCMRs. Sometimes you just see some weird uh, meme and you think, okay, this is funny, but I'm not going to learn much about PC and technology. But you, you go inside the comments and yeah. you will learn. Sometimes there's people there explaining right. exactly what's going on and why, and you learn so much. It's surprising. Yeah, I mean, it's insane. Like there's just the amount, the wealth of information that some of these just anonymous internet users have. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like this, the, these guys could each have their own YouTube channels. Like th th these are all like gamers next level geniuses. And it's like so cool to just have a place where you can access their brains and, and just share information like that. Exactly. It's like, very cool. People have all sorts of different opinions. It's really cool. As long as you can live with the fact that someone else might not have the exact opinion and right. respect it. Of course, you might discuss and, and get to, to an agreement on something else. But it's it's really cool to, like you mentioned, being able to pick brains and have discussions about yeah. even mini discussions inside threads about specific topics. Right, exactly. Obviously, like PCMR likes to poke fun at like non-PC users, you know? Course, it's yeah. all in jest. You know, like like console peasants is a, is a thing that comes to mind. Um, how do you... How do you draw the line between like just having fun and like, you know, making jokes and like actually mean spirited, you know, attacks? You kind of learn uh, 
during your time moderating, you, you eventually find 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 uh, when that happens, you can kind of understand. But like you mentioned, this it's in jest. It's very self aware, right? Obviously, and people, even PC gamers, need we need to learn to to laugh at ourselves, of course, because that's even the, like the, the the idea of being a PC enthusiast. And, and there's also flaws in PCs and For stuff sure. we want to improve. It's, it's usually not our fault. Yeah, it's the fault of I, let's say the devs or something like that. Right. It, when, when concerning games, but some people um, easily understand. Of course, of course, it's just. Of course, we truly believe that PC is the best gaming platform, the best yeah. working platform, the best learning platform. For sure. But uh, it's perfectly fine to enjoy a console. A lot of members have of consoles. Uh, a lot of people are very partial, for instance, to Nintendo. People love Nintendo. Oh, dude. Switch. Uh, I love my Switch. And it's I love nothing wrong with that. Of for course, sure. you're, you're not looking, you're playing your Switch expecting uh, 144 hertz uh, 4K gaming. You're yeah. just enjoying it. That's perfectly fine, too. But yeah. And maybe when you're playing your Switch, you're like, damn, I'm being a peasant right now. But I'm having fun. That's right. cool. That's yeah, cool. for sure. Just enjoy life and just know that PC is the best, of course. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> but I mean, I think you bring up a really good point that we, we have to laugh at ourselves as PC users as well. And I think a lot of people, when they, when they don't really know PCMR very well, they just see like the you know, the, the memes about console peasants and stuff, and they go, like, oh, you guys are just being offensive, you guys are attacking us, but they don't realize, like, half of those memes are just, like, self-deprecating PC jokes. Like, we just laugh at ourselves of, like, over, like, how we lose our minds over a Steam sale, or, like, you know, we spend a million dollars on a PC but can't pay ten dollars for a game. Like, there's just, like, so much just, uh, tongue-in-cheek to our, to our own, you know, um, it's, we're just, like, a bit humbled, you know, we, we kind of have to humble ourselves as well. Everyone does, yeah. Yeah, for sure. In all senses of the word, like in, in all interests, in, in all, uh, regardless of, of what you like, it's super important to be able to, to look inside and just have a bit of fun at yeah. your own expense. Yeah, definitely. Right. How, how often do you, does like a, like a toxic person pop up in PC Mar where you're like, you got to shut it down, like they're, they're going too far, they're, you know, making negative comments and stuff? I mean, it's less less often that you might than you might think. Yeah, uh, we we've been, of course, we've existed for twelve years now, almost thirteen, I think. Yeah. So um, we have about like a thousand posts a day. So that's wow. threads only, disregarding right. comments, and some some threads might have like thousands of comments occasionally. Wow. So. Um, however, and for a, a number of years, we, we've had one of the, the strictest rules set on, on Reddit. So uh, we have a very, very strict uh, mind on what concerns that. If you're like uh, uh, gratuitously offensive towards anyone, sure. you're out. Yeah, of course you can exactly. appeal your bands. Everyone can appeal their bands. Sure. But we, we, we are not going to give you that platform, you know. Like yeah. if you're offensive, if you're calling people names, if you're... If you're just creating content just to dis disrupt the community, of right. course you'll be you'll be asked to leave. That's a normal. Yeah. Normal. And the and those people are you know they're they're everywhere in every community. Oh yeah, you know for what sure. I mean? It's for just sure. inevitable. A actually, I think given the size of the community, I think uh, we we don't really have that many. Of course, yeah. if you're in some thread, it might might pop up, and you might think might confuse like the 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 tree for the forest, you know. Yeah. And people need to understand that there will be some. Someone who, who is not pleasant. Exactly. And that's fine. Click, report, we'll, we'll handle it for sure. Yeah, definitely. No, every time I've ever been on the PCMR subreddit, it's always just felt like a very inclusive and, and very wholesome place. 100%. If you yeah. love PCs, it doesn't matter who you are. Right. You are welcome, most welcome. If you want to be a part of the community and you love PCs, you are PCMR. So far nice. as I'm you don't even need to own a PC. Right, exactly. You just have to want one. <laughs> yeah, Because that's right. all. If yeah, you love PCs, sure. you, wa you want one. You 100%. Want one. Are you doing this full time? Like, um, like just running PCMR? Is this a full time gig for you, or do you have like another job? Do you do other things? My my my, my day job or my, my my training is in a uh, law. So I, for a okay. number of years, I was like a legal uh, legal. Uh, yeah, I was actually doing uh, trials, and I was an attorney. You were a lawyer. Like, yeah, yeah, criminal defense mostly. Damn, dude, that's not crazy. just that, but uh, other stuff. Yeah, but right now and uh, after COVID. Yeah. So during COVID and a lot of places, like pretty much everything shut down. Yeah. And uh, at one point, like even courts shut down for a few months. Yeah. And, uh, uh, unless it was like the super urgent stuff. Right. So I kind of, now I'm dedicating my, my, myself to, to PCs and, and bringing, that's my goal is like informing people about PCs and, 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 and gaming and letting them have a place to, to, to share their love about PCs and gaming and hardware and stuff like that. Nice. So, yeah. Do you, uh, I mean... What was that like being like a criminal defense lawyer or a criminal attorney? Yeah. Like, what was that like? Was that, was that, were there any cool parts to it? 
there are a few cool parts, but it's not like the shows and it's not that, like in the U.S. Of course. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. different. <laughs> yeah, dude. It, yeah, if you were a criminal attorney in the U.S., you'd be. Uh, yeah. it would be like the shows probably. I never did did deal with like that super heavy stuff, so no sure. murder, no stuff like that. Gotcha. But uh, that's like, where I, that's where I was going. I was like, yeah, anything juicy on that side? But yeah, it's pretty tame. Pretty tame. Yeah, right there. relatively tame. So so yeah. so no that. So thank God. But it's 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 hard because there's a lot of responsibility on your hands, of course, and right. when you're a defense attorney in particular, you have to uh, enter like every every situation with with the mindset that you want to help the person that you you are appointed to or yeah. who who hired you and and uh, um, do the best you can for them. Sometimes right. they're guilty, but uh, sometimes they just need help to to navigate the, the waters of law and and and, right. and 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 pay their dues, of course, for, yeah. for what they did. Or, or in some cases, just help them and, and and try to 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 establish their their, their innocence. It, it's in, it's yeah. interesting, but it's it's definitely a lot of responsibility for sure. This is probably a weird question, but have like, has that world ever collided with the PC world for you? Like, have those two things ever intersected in your life in a weird way? In a way, yeah. I get when we're dealing with with PCs and and, and embargoes and, and, and brands. At some points, you have to sign NDAs and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. So that happens a lot. So looking at an NDA and saying eh, this is this is crap. Right. This is not a good NDA. That is true. Like brands can't pull a fast one on you with any kind of contract NDA. Like you you. You know that shit like I the mean, back of your hand. No one is immune, I guess. Sure. But uh, like NDAs, and especially you, you notice that most of them are copy pasted and they're yeah. not really good. And the people who, who write them don't really have a good training on, on the stuff that, right. that happens. Some on, template on the they found on Google or whatever. Actually, <laughs> actually went once to 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 a, to a game developer, and they want me to wanted me to sign an NDA. I was like, this, I will not sign this. No one sane will sign this. Yeah. yeah. So they're like, okay. You're right. Let's change it. So they changed. So they have the some fly. wild stuff in there. Like what was? It was just kind of. It did not make sense at all because it's probably for some other industry. Where, okay. Like having rights to your image in perpetuity or oh, yeah. NDAs yeah. lasting like ten years. It was like ten years. Yeah. <laughs> You're showing me a game that will come out in like six months. Yeah. Exactly. Like this yeah. makes no sense. Dude, I, I sometimes wonder like how like how much I'm on the hook for NDAs and other contracts that I've signed that I just did not understand or read the fine print i'm just like dude some someday it's all going to come crashing down uh, i'm sure not it's, it's crazy <laughs> D this is not legal advice but most ndas are kind of th they want to go for that intimidating factor Definitely. first and foremost not yeah. legal advice right. always read before signing for sure <laughs> nice man what's your team like like do you have a team that that helps you with just run the community yeah there's a lot of helpful people in the community especially on reddit there's a lot of helpful people on Reddit and okay. on Discord too. Discord is super vibrant. Okay. Do you use Discord a lot? Uh, yeah, for my own my own channel. It's cool. Yeah. And uh, it's a, a channel that really requires uh, people to be there live, so moderators and stuff like that is really important. Right. Because uh, on Reddit, for instance, if something happens, you have moderators and there's a few helpful team members on, on Reddit too that delete something and the stuff is gone. But on right. on Discord, if you're not kind of quick doing it, a lot of people will see it and will circle. So you have to be yeah. like regulars who are really passionate about what they do. So definitely they give a lot of help to the community. Okay, interesting. Because I was always wondering that. Because like anytime I think of PCMR, like I think you're the only face that comes to mind. I don't think I've ever had any, like met anybody else in person that is affiliated with it. So they're all kind of, but they are there. You do have a team. They're just kind of like working on, you know, just on the internet in the servers they're behind the scenes oh yeah helping moderate yeah, moderate of course w when you get a lot of people just commenting you you definitely need them moderators yeah. are and i'm i'm a moderator at heart as well right so uh they're super important to keep a community healthy for sure at uh, at what point did you realize that i need help i need to hire some people or like i need to like at what point did the community get too big for you to handle on your own i don't think I don't think there, that point exists on what concerns community because community and even even non moderators even members, and you'll find this a lot on Reddit on on on, on Discord, uh, people who are not moderators at all have no affiliation but they're they're so passionate and they kind of enforce the rules and when someone kind of goes a bit overboard they're like don't act like that here we're not like that yeah right so that is it's very community driven sure. that's the side of things that's really interesting how people. Uh, uh, when when there's a large group of people that love a project, they, they can uh, manage it too. So it's it's really yeah. cool. Nice. I've always been curious also about how, like, how do you monetize? Like, what's the monetization model like for PCMR? Is it is it does it have any similarities with like being a YouTuber where there's like ad revenue and brand deals, sponsorships, and things like that? 
Um, is it pretty similar to that, or are there other other you know revenue streams that uh, that you guys deal with? Uh, it, it's somewhat similar, but not really on Reddit. It's mostly on the other networks because CMR. That's the thing. Like, besides uh, the subreddits, we actually have a very um, very active, like I mentioned, Discord and uh, yeah. Instagram and uh, Twitter. Right. And uh, doing stuff like that, doing coverage like that, that that's very similar to to something like a Definitely. a YouTuber would do. Right. Of course, the other side is Reddit. That's the community side. But yeah. on the on the other networks, yeah, that's very very similar. Okay. Cool. Um, how does the uh one thing that's really cool is like the collab you did with Lee and Lee on the O11 Vision. Oh yeah, for sure. Which has just been getting rave reviews. I just did a build for my girlfriend in one. Oh nice. And uh, that's awesome. Beautiful case. The she, black or the white one? Uh, the white. Nice, nice. How did that uh, collaboration even start? I mean, it was kind of natural, I guess. Like we we did a uh, like a small collab a few years ago. Okay. With, with Leon Lee, which was uh, like a very limit, limited edition case. It was like super reflective. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember that one. Remember that one? Yeah. What was the name of that one? That one was just, uh, it was just the O11D, I think. Just PCMR, okay. a special edition. Gotcha. Reflective. This one is just the O11 Vision. So yeah. top glass, front glass, side glass. Right. And uh, it began just uh, Leon Lee interacting and say, hey, what we've done went so well. I want to see what you what you have to say about uh about uh, what a case should look like, what we can right. make bring different to the market. So. so for the first one, did they approach you with it, or did did you kind of reach out to them with the idea? Like, how did that? How did the first edition of the PCMR case come about? I think the first was kind of mutual. Yeah. In the sense, I, I think it probably during a CS we kind of engaged and talked about it, and, nice. and it kind of grew naturally. Sweet. And this time it was uh, more on their side, I guess. And then we, of course, it's mutual. But because it's happened, yeah, and uh, it's super cool to be able to work with them. Because uh, especially their CEO is like, he's really, really good, and he's like, he, he, if you if you think you want something to be good, you're like happy with something. He's he's even more uh, like, uh, he wants that to be like absolutely perfect. Okay, and perfectionist, some, exactly. And it's he's definitely. really good at what he does. So nice. you're like, okay, I want this to be th this way, and okay, okay, this looks good. And he's like, I'm gonna make it even better. That's so awesome. It's, that's super easy to 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 to. To work with someone who who is that who is like that, and you can create right. super cool stuff. And yeah. this one is one of them for sure. Absolutely, it's a, it's definitely a one of a kind case. There's a a lot of other brands that are just like trying to emulate that now. I think, which is like you guys are leading the pack in that area. You know what I mean? Um, damn. Do you have any other cool collabs coming up that you can talk about? Not really. Uh, we're going to to keep that one, of course. And there's uh we did a uh, the first like collab with LTT. With, with, oh yeah, with the merch stuff. Yeah, yeah. LTT is doing a lot of cool stuff with, with their merch. I think they're opening like a uh, way for a lot of creators, a lot of communities, a lot of people to to devise and, and, and create their own stuff and right. being able to to use their their means to 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 get them out there. And uh, sure. that's been really cool. And dude, the PCMR logo looks looks so sick it's on awesome, all their right? merch. Yeah. It looks like I want I want one of those water bottles. I got to hit a blindness. Should have told me. I oh no, it's all good. I'll just like I don't know, raid their suite later or something. <laughs> Just loot some stuff. Um, do you do you publicize where what country you're from? Where yeah, you yeah, yeah. Oh, you do. Okay, so yeah. Portugal, right? Yeah, technically. But uh, the way I look at it, I I never did look at people like they belong to a specific place. I think, of course, or, right? Yeah, yeah. I was I was gonna ask, just like what is, what what's the hardware situation there like? I I, I wouldn't even be able to tell you. Oh, really? That's the thing. Like. Uh, most of what I, I do reside there most of the time, not always, but most okay. of the time. And I, I was born there, of course. Okay. But uh, I think the fact that I'm Portuguese is uh, not super important. Yeah. I think we're all in a way, uh, I think we're like citizens of the world. This is very exactly. you know, poetic, but I think it's really true. Like, yeah. I, I you never zoom out on that. You zoom out on that globe. You know, we all kind of just, we all just look like ants. Exactly. You know, we're all the if same. You, if you zoom out enough. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, uh, if you're, um, does it really matter or does it change things? And I never did like when uh, in our industry, there's a lot of brands who try to create specialized content for each uh, geographical region and stuff like that. Yeah, right. I never did like that. Right. I really, did. of course, if you want to speak in your language, that's awesome. But if you sure. want to engage with people in other communities, that's that's in, in other countries and other regions, that's awesome too. Because I don't think nationality is a really good way to 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 show who you are. Right. 
it's all about interest and about common interest and about uh, yeah. who you are as a person. Yeah. So I've been able to, I think most people have who have been blessed enough to, to, to be able to travel a lot, right. to see other, other cultures, is that you will find friends and people who are like you everywhere. Right. So that's what connects you, not just because this person has the exact same passport I do. Right. Or their mom gave birth in the same general region mine did. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's, uh, I think that's something we, we all should uh, try to, to, to think more about. Totally agree. Yeah, it is It is weird just going to Computex and seeing, like, because they have, like, you know, hardware ads everywhere. It looks totally different. Totally. You know? It's just, like, this, I don't know, this Asian chick and like, I don't know, scantily clad, you know, outfit or whatever. And you're just like, they're not all like that. But but it, they do have a different vibe. And maybe that's just because, you know, based on the culture or whatever. But um, I, I see no reason why we can't just have, like, universal branding you know what i mean it's like all the graphics cards look the same in every country yeah you know what i mean they, they don't they don't like make a godzilla version for japan yeah you know what I mean? although that'd be pretty sick that would be pretty I, sick. I would i would want that to go but i think the internet really helped us get to this stage where people everywhere can connect with with one another and you're talking to someone you have no idea who they are where they are yeah and that's super cool i think right sometimes yeah. they, they 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 choose to disclose it some people prefer not to that's fine too yeah definitely but and like, hey I'm, I'm in india or i'm in the philippines or right. i'm in brazil or in norway that's super cool definitely and hey tell me about your country how is it what what time is it there or what do you have yeah, to yeah. eat do you celebrate this do holiday? you are you able to like keep tabs on like what countries pcmr members are from like I would imagine that there's got to be at least one member from every country in the world. Oh, at this for point, sure, right? I'm, ge I'm guessing. That's for insane, sure. dude. There's actually a there's actually a, a a meme where you see like Steam users. Yeah. And there's like one dot on in North Korea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like who is this? Yeah, right. But like, yeah, there, there's he's, probably he's hiding whoever he is. <laughs> he's underground, dude. But like, I would say like the majority of the community is probably in the U.S. and Canada. Yeah. And there's a lot of people in, in the UK and other countries in Europe, okay. mostly the countries in Europe, since most of the stuff that, that we do as a community is in, in the English language. Yeah. There are some, some regions in Europe that don't really uh, use a lot of ling English daily. Sure. So I would say the countries in Europe who do are probably the, the, the most connected to PCMR community. So gotcha. Germany, Scandinavia, yeah. the Nordic countries, nice. definitely. Okay. And of course, Australia. There's a lot of people in Australia. Really? But also in... in Many parts of Asia, so Taiwan, the Philippines, uh, yeah. India, so many places. Yeah, that's awesome. It's beautiful. Damn. Africa, it's it's all awesome. Does does Europe have like their own like, version of Micro Center? I don't think so. That's okay. very U.S. specific. There's yeah. not in the, the the scale that that sure. Micro Center is. Okay. Have a lot of stores usually in many countries in Europe that have some stuff. Yeah, there might be some specialized shops here or there that might have a bit more stuff, but nothing like a big mall like Micro Center. No. Right. Yeah. That'll be the dream. Man. Yeah, dude. The Holy Land. Yeah, man. <laughs> dude, they, like that's the number one thing. The only complaint that anyone ever has about Micro Center is that there's not one next to where they live. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been to one actually. Really? Yeah, yeah. No way. I've never been to one. Oh my god. Damn, you've been to like the U.S. so much. I, I would have figured that at some point you would have walked through a store. Just never happened. This is crazy. Eh? Yeah. No, it it is your first time. It's uh, it's pretty it's pretty sweet. Yeah, I can imagine. You're like, dude, I could spend all day here, dude. I can imagine. Just having everything. That's the special part. Yeah. You have everything. Definitely, and like good options too. Mm -hmm. It's not like like Best Buy. You could theoretically build a PC there, but you know you you got it's slim pickings. You've got maybe three options for a motherboard. You know, maybe one if, for a specific chipset or a socket. But, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's a heavenly place. It's heaven on earth for sure. It sounds like it. I will try. Thank you so much to MSI for making these CES 2024 talks possible. So MSI unleashed some killer tech at their booth. But one thing that totally stole the show, literally towering over everything, was the Mag Maestro 700 LPZ. This beast of a dual chamber chassis sports EATX and MSI's Project Zero motherboards. You know, the ones with the sleek cable action going on at the back for that clean look. But hold up, it gets even cooler. The case is a single piece of CNC aluminum, meaning zero panel gaps. Add in that one piece glass panel wrapping around and you've got yourself a stunner. Ready for some extreme water cooling too? Three 360 millimeter radiators, kind of extreme. What? This unique bad boy, the Meg Maestro 700 LPZ, is hitting stores in the next month or two with an MSRP of $379.99. Now if that's a bit too rich for your blood, check out the Mag Pano. This one's got a more budget-friendly price tag, coming in ATX and micro-ATX sizes. 
US market gets four pre-installed fans, or you can choose a fanless version for the international crew. It's available in black or white, and that wraparound glass panel gives you the ultimate wide-angle views. The case features solid cable management behind the motherboard with plenty of room, and these cool hinged cable covers to make stubborn side panels a thing of the past. With so many Project Zero builds on display, it's no surprise that MSI is also flaunting their line of clutter-free boards, featuring the B650 chipset for AMD's Ryzen 7000 series, and Z790 and B760 chipsets for Intel's 12th, 13th, and 14th gen CPUs. Back Connect design for effortless cable vibes, robust power delivery, and extended M.2 SSD heatsinks, they've got it all. Not to mention 20 gigabits per second USB, Wi-Fi 7, and 2.5 gigabit LAN for that extra sauce. Available now, so get them while they're hot. Hats off to MSI for making these CES 2024 interviews go down. Scope out their latest gear with the links in the video description. Thanks a million to Thermaltake for backing my CES 2024 chats. Now about those fans. Thermaltake's kicking it up a notch. Forget the old ones. These new Tough Fan EX and Swaf Fan EX models are on another level. Why? They've got magnets that let you link them up, waving goodbye to that cable chaos. Coming in 120 and 140 millimeter options, these fans only need one cable to power up to three fans at once, making PC building a breeze. Need to clean, mod, or swap the blades? Easy peasy. Plus, all the fans include some lube so your little propeller doesn't dry out. Thermaltake's not just stopping at fans, no. They're diving into the racing sim world with the GR500 cockpit. It's got it all. Adjustable fiberglass bucket seat, pedal mount plate, and a sturdy frame that's pre-drilled for all major brands like Thrustmaster, Logitech, and Fanatec. And hey, if you're into that triple monitor setup, they've got a stand for it. Picture this. Three of Thermaltake's 32-inch curved monitors with all the bells and whistles. Quad HD resolution, 170 hertz refresh rate, one millisecond response time, and sleek bezels for an immersive edge-to-edge -edge view. Want the deets on all of Thermaltake's latest tech? Hit up the link in the description. Turn the sound off because I forgot to put it in quiet mode. Oh, nice. Yeah, good call. I, I actually forgot. I almost forgot to um, uh, put the do not disturb sign on the door. Ooh. So like. Housekeeping? Yeah, that'd be a crazy, that'd be a wild backdrop during an interview. <laughs> Just like a Mexican lady making a bed. Just, anyway. All right, don't get too worried, but um, I'm about to expose you, dude. Ooh. I'm about to expose you to the world. <laughs> so before you were into PCs. Before. Something that people don't know about you is that you were a dirty console peasant. Ooh. And I have the photos to prove it. No, you don't. I do. You ready for this? Yes. You're going to wonder how I got access to these. Are you Nardwar, man? Are you ready for this? <laughs> Whoa, dude. What is that controller, though? Dude, I don't know, man. That's some vintage console that yeah. you're on, man. Damn, it's a ColecoVision or something. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Yeah, dude. So, I mean, that's that's what you used to look like when yeah. you were on a console. A lot thinner. Yeah. A lot thinner, but, but, healthy. but not, not, not a good thin. Yeah. It's like a brittle, you know, like deprived. I needed the PC. You needed a PC. Yes. Like PC, it just, it's like sunlight. It just gives you nutrients. Exactly. Um, there's another one here because people will say it's fake. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You were, I don't know what you were working with there. That's a, a console. A obviously. very strange console. Yeah, dude. But I mean, you look engaged. <laughs> Yes, uh, I don't look very healthy at all. No, <laughs> definitely not, dude. The console life, man. I feel like I didn't realize consoles also affect your hairline that badly. <laughs> I guess. But um, had a lot of white hairs back then. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's, it stresses you out when you can't get over 60 FPS. 60 if you're lucky. Yeah, dude. If you're lucky. <laughs> if you're lucky, dude. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking at the floor or something. Yeah, yeah. Move. This is definitely a 30 FPS look right here. Yeah, 27 or something. That's you're in 30 FPS health yeah, in this yeah. photo. Yeah, I like that caption. But you're uh you've come a long way since then cuz now I have some more updated photos of you after getting a PC and I, I really do Ooh. think I really do think it uh it's improved. You've improved for the better. Damn, I look really healthy in this photo. You yeah. I also realize like you with muscles is just Henry Cavill. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> If you, that's that you are Henry Cavill yeah. just without the crazy buff yeah. arms. Yeah. And not like 1% as good looking, but yeah. that is, this is you, but it does look like I'm kind of, yeah, dude, what? look at that. Ooh, I look just like someone who just installed a 4090 or something. Yeah, dude, you could bench 4090s with those. Yeah, ones. exactly. Maybe a 5090. Imagine how fast <laughs> you could build a computer with those. And the arms. hair, the hair is super yeah. glorious. And yeah, stuff. yeah. Yeah. Your hair gets longer. Yeah. Your pants get a lot tighter. Like how there's a Superman poster. Oh, kind of. Not not Superman, but a related <laughs> yeah, character dude. behind. 
yeah. So Sorry, uh, Henry Cavill. <laughs> so I just I just wanted to show the the viewers, you know, like how far you've come. Oh yeah, it was yeah. a big progress, man. <laughs> <laughs> AI is so wild. Do you do you ever worry about like AI and how that's going to affect the future of PCs? Not really. It's yeah. something that I stopped. I, I kind of stopped uh, worrying too much about yeah. progress. Yeah. It's all about, uh, like, we've always, throughout history, we've always been afraid of what's coming next. If you go back, like, 100 years or or even more, much more, like, when newspapers uh, started appearing, people right. were discussing it, like, oh, no one is talking anymore. They're just stuffing their face in a newspaper exactly then radio and then tv yep. and then the internet yeah now it's ai of course there are dangers uh on what concerns of course are, are personal and physical security those kind of need to be addressed for sure right uh, by by some very high instances but uh yep. on what concerns like the industry i think we it's a tool that it, we can use to 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 create more stuff and, and do cool stuff together i think it could right. be super powerful for sure i agree there is, however, the risk that it might be it might make developers if if we go to gaming a bit lazier. So there's that, mm. and something that is super important is that there's a lot of jobs who might not exist. Yeah, if you look at like voice acting and stuff like that, it's right. kind of crazy what's going yeah. on. Yeah, right? I mean, I don't know how much you caught of it because it's been in the U.S., but like the Hollywood Writers Strike yeah, yeah. Um, and the Screen Actors Guild, like they've just been you know, very scared that AI is just going to come in and take their jobs or just like, you know, cut their pay because it's like, it's wild. It was the, basically their complaint was um, that they could just get filmed one time and then just AI will just replicate them. And then it's like they sign an NDA that's like, all right, we have your name and likeness to use in perpetuity for a million different movies, TV shows, what, however much we want. And but you only get paid for that one hour that you came in to shoot. So it was this, it was this whole ordeal that um, they're still they're still working it out. You know they're still working through it. But uh, it's crazy, crazy times, times and that's where the legal part comes in. We need to to be able to protect yeah. people too. Yeah, to maybe you could you could help with that. I you can know, I with can your, help with your with legal that, skills. Sure. Yeah, but it's kind of crazy just how many jobs might be affected by it. But we we need to make sure we create an environment where people are not too affected by it. That that's yeah. super important for sure. Um, I also wanted to play a little game with you. Ooh. So this is this is a, a PC loyalty test, okay? Ooh. Um, who would win in a fight? This is this is really just to see how how loyal you are to Ooh. to your fellow PC. Who would win in a fight, The Rock or PC? You can see The Rock is scared at the power of the PC right he's there. He's terrified. Terrified. And he's pretty powerful himself. And you've never like I've never seen The Rock with this expression. That's true. It's Only the very the, first time he's ever felt fear. Probably probably the first time that he's seen a. Uh, an opponent so powerful. I mean, look at that screen, dude. I mean, that's got to be like a thousand hertz. It's probably more. Uh, over nine thousand. Over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> at 9, least over. And 9, the 000. keyboard. That's a long keyboard. Yeah, and there's two of them, dude. He doesn't know what to oh, do. There, there he's are never. Two. He's <laughs> never been faced with so much, so many options. It's too powerful. <laughs> I don't think he so has so many a options, dude. I would be afraid <laughs> of that many options too. Yeah. So I, I agree. I think you got that one right. All right, you're still loyal to PCs. Uh, the next one. Would you rather game on a MacBook Pro or this pair? Okay. I would say maybe the pair because the pair probably has games. Like right, the right. MacBook. You could probably like run it. Like it's probably got some robust hardware in there. Yeah, I guess. Probably. I mean, look, he's sweating. Seems engaged. It is, it's liquid cool, <laughs> dude. This pair is liquid cooled. What is even up with that space bar? It's it's oh goodness. yeah, the space bar is like one <laughs> one row up, dude. Yeah. What are those keys on the bottom? The pair. But I don't know. But like, it does. It is a mechanical keyboard, which I don't really see difference. paired with Max too often. No, it no. So I mean, I think the gaming experience would be better on a pair. I would say it is better on a pair for sure. All right, we're we're on the right track here. The pair. Now here's a big one. If you were going to live on an island, but you could only bring one thing, would you bring your fiance huh. or a PC? Ooh. Very Obviously, the fiance, of course. How, how big is the <laughs> island? It depends. Is she watching this right now? <laughs> how, how big, big is, is the, the island? island? It's uh, it's about as big as it looks in that photo. It's I actually massive. was born in an island. so it's. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh damn! Yeah. All right. So then, this should be uh, you're right at home here. I have to bring her because PC PCs are like I, I look at PC like the perfect tool to to uh, 
engage people and, and to create a, a sense of community. I guess yeah. there's no much, there's no bigger community than other human beings themselves, For sure. right? Yeah, that's very true. Like, you ever been on a computer without internet? I have, unfortunately, <laughs> I have. I mean, there's still stuff you could do, but it's not nearly as fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's only like so much time you can spend on Microsoft Word. Yeah. Before you're like, all right, I need... I need to talk to someone. I need I need some cat memes in my life. I know what you mean. I like PC is a tool, right? It's For a tool, sure. but it's it's a tool. That's that's it. And yeah. There's always something right greater, of course. I mean, it, it is it is its ability sure. to connect us to other people. That's what makes it so great. That's the most important part, and one of yeah. the things I think differentiates. Of course, consoles. Of course, they've been doing it better since now, since they're they're kind of like maimed PCs in sure. a way. Yeah. But like. There's nothing quite like a PC to, to, to establish communication um, and to give f uh, access to information to people. And access to information, I think, is like it's a human right, having access yeah. to information, being yep. able to see what's happening in your community and communicating with other human beings, regardless of where they are, if possible. I right. think is it's the tool, the tool for, for, yeah. for that. It's a tool, not uh, a great conversationalist. I guess. I'm I mean, sure you, I'm sure you enjoy talking to your fiance way more than... Trying to, trying to talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> <Josh GPT. laughs> yeah. Or just, you know, hurling words at a, a tower. Regardless of how engaging that sounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, right. I, prefer I mean, we've all tried. Of course. Yeah. This is the last one. Would you resurrect a dead PC if it meant a thousand children had to die? Oh, goodness me. No, I'd just build a new PC. Just. <laughs> <laughs> you just built <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Oh, it's save the children. What just build a new PC. I mean, you didn't even ask what the specs were. Dude. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> what the hell? No, just get A. Send me more hardware. Let's just build another one. I guess Damn. that's one of the good stuff of PC. Like, it's it's fungible. Like, you have the PC. Yeah. You might have, like, a connection to it, but it's mostly fungible. So it's yeah. it's broken. Just get new parts, of course. Yeah. Time and money permitting, but just... Like, we need to remember that. And I think it goes back to what you said about... Uh, the community we love pcs but we need to realize that more important than everything else is like humanity at large like yeah obviously that we're just joking around a bit right. and of course we love pcs we both love pcs very much of but like uh they're tools that we can use to 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 be happier yeah i think that's the important part absolutely to connect with people and we can just save the children and uh yeah get another pc with I mean, RGB. That's, that, that is that is a lot of fortnite players that we'd be giving up yeah, you know what I mean? so, <laughs> we got to keep them on. We'll keep them on board, dude. Um, all right, I would say I would say you passed that test with flying colors. Thank you. I, I had no doubt that you would, but uh, it's nice to I see. I appreciate that. Yeah, of course. It's a hard test, man. Especially the pair. I know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was a curveball. Yeah, the pair. I had to throw the curveball at you. The pair has games though, unlike the MacBook. Yeah, dude. What 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 games would a pair run best? Ooh, Fruit Ninja. It's probably a good reply to this, which I will remember in a while. <laughs> yeah, right. It'll <laughs> like, hit damn. you like flying on the way back home. You're like, I should have said this. Yes, exactly. <laughs> There's probably a game with pairs. I can't remember. I have Fruit Ninja, of course. It's got Nintendo be like does a lot of eggplants and video games. They put a lot <laughs> of true. eggplants. Which, now that I think about it, is a little sus. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Maybe in Japan, it has a different <laughs> connotation. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. It's like, why is this game just eggplants and peaches? I don't understand. <laughs> Hey, big shout out to Thermaltake for hooking it up at CES 2024. So they dropped some seriously cool cases at their booth. And guess what? They teamed up with Asus to birth the Series 330, a mid-tower beauty that's all about those cable-free vibes with Asus's BTF motherboards that put all the connectors and headers on the backside. Clean look? Check. It supports up to seven 120mm fans and a 360 radiator at the front. Oh, and the case on display, you ask? Rocking that awesome hydrangea blue to celebrate Thermaltake's 25th birthday bash. Black and Snow White versions are hitting shelves on January 10th for $109.99 USD. And the hydrangea blue option drops on January 4th, same price. Now let's talk about the CTE E600MX, a real head turner. Dual chamber mid tower with edge to edge glass panels for the ultimate build peep show. You can even swap the front panel with an included mesh panel for more airflow. How cool is that? Plus the whole 90 degree rotated motherboard and a floating like a boss vertical GPU thanks to a handy mounting bracket and PCIe 4.0 cable which are both included. Launching on January 20th in black, snow white and hydrangea blue for $179.99. Not bad at all for all the cool stuff it brings to the table. But wait, there's more. The Tower 300, a micro ATX marvel with an octagonal shape. It's like loot crate, spaceship 
endless nerdy possibilities with tons of modding potential. And it's not just for show. Removable toolless glass panels and a hinged fan bracket make access to components and cables a breeze. And if that's not rad already, you've got the option to set it up on an angled stand for a one-of-a-kind perspective on your build. Plus, there's a ventilated panel cleverly concealing all the I.O. ports, giving it that ultra-clean aesthetic. Available for $149.99 in custom colors. Black and Snow White are out now. Turquoise and blue on the 14th, and green and yellow dropping on February 4th. Major props to Thermaltake for making these CES 2024 chats happen. Check out their latest gear with the link in the description. Huge shout out to MSI for hooking it up at CES 2024 and making these interviews possible. Now brace yourselves for the tech magic. MSI just unveiled their MEG 321 URX QD OLED display, a 32-inch OLED 4K monitor that's got a wild 240Hz refresh rate and a crazy fast 0.03 millisecond response time. And get this, it's not just any monitor, it's powered by AI. Right now, the AI is all about giving League of Legends players an edge, but more games are in the pipeline. Check this out. There's a slick LED bar on the bottom that syncs with the character's health bar, keeping crucial info in your peripheral vision while you crush it in battle. Then there's AI SkySight, predicting where off-screen enemies might pop up and slapping a red skull icon on screen to show you where they're coming from. It's like tactical ESP. And the best part? No bans here, because all the AI magic happens on the monitor, not your PC. So go ahead. Enjoy that sweet victory, you cheating son of a b What's really neat is MSI is exploring ways to leverage AI in other games so users can teach their monitors to elevate their gameplay even further. But wait, there's more! MSI dropped a 49-inch QD OLED 2K display with a mind-blowing 5120x1440 resolution. Hits up to 144Hz, and yep, it's packing the same AI superpowers as the other monitor. Both of them are also rocking OLED Care 2.0 for burn-in prevention dimming desktop icons and other static stuff on your screen. Hear that noise? No you don't, because this monitor is silent. This baby is fanless, using a graphene film to conduct heat like a champ before exhausting it passively out of its ventilated back panel. Want to dive deeper into all the MSI awesomeness? Hit up the link in the video description. You got any goals for 2024? Where, you know, in terms of just where you want PCMR to go and cool things that, it, that you want to do with it? I mean, obviously, keep doing the same stuff, making sure that the community is healthy and, and thriving is obvious. Yeah. But uh, I, I guess the main objective is always giving people information that allows them to make informed decisions. I think yeah. that's the most important part. And I think still, I think much better than ever, I think also thanks to the community, yeah. a lot of people are uh, more aware that uh, PCs are... I mean, PCs can be super expensive. Of course, we all know this. For sure. We can build a $5,000 PC easily if you want the best of the best. But it's so possible to get a very decent gaming PC that will print pretty much everything yeah. for a very, very reasonable price. And that can bring yeah. you just so much more than any other system can. Exactly. Sub $1,000 easily right. if you go on the used markets. Super reasonable prices. And yeah. no, not everyone needs a 4090. Exactly. Not many people need a 4090. You can yeah. build something that will play pretty much every game released right, right now decently. You can have fun with your family. Yep. You can learn stuff. You can study. Your kids can study. You can learn. You can chat with family. You can do pretty much everything easily. Yeah. I don't even need a 4090 unless I need to hold a door open or something. Like Yes, you do. You need a 4090. <laughs> yes, you do. You're right. Well, why would I say such a stupid thing? <laughs> Damn it. Um, have you ever met anyone like, like a PCMR member in person like that you initially met? through like the forums through oh, the yeah. through the subreddit and then like met them in person like do, oh, yeah. do actually that's a good question do you, are there PCMR meetups in we've had, we've had a few but always linked to other events okay so sometimes at PAX we would look to do like a meetup and stuff yeah. we've actually been together in in one of those oh, actually i was like i probably i'm forgetting right now one which, of the panels one, one of the earliest panels oh yeah remember? that's right yeah that was really cool 18 i think yeah 2018 Dude. That was pretty cool. That was very fun. Yeah, yeah. You and Steve. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Steve Gamers Nexus was there. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of people, actually, members of the community, it's occasionally they come to me. It's, it's kind of kind of good, but it's like, I'm always surprised. Like, hey, your page was like, yes. How do you know me? Like, yeah, right. Yeah, it's, it's so flattering all the time. For like, sure. It, one of the one of the best things that have ever happened to me related to the community was someone who came to came to me during PAX, I think PAX East. Yeah. And they were like, hey, uh, you don't know me, but I'm a member of the PCMR community. I've, I've, I've been a member for a number of years now. And because of the community, I grew an interest in PCs. 
and I went to school for PCs, and now I'm graduating mm -hmm. in software engineering and stuff like that. Oh, wow. It's like, damn, this, like changing people's lives, like That's creating a, a way for them to discuss and chat about interests that they might not have before. Yeah. And I know it's just so cool to see that. Yeah, dude. Using the, the power of PC for good. That's right. That's the thing. That must be really, uh, it must feel like pretty fulfilling for you to be like, you know, you, you, that you've impacted someone's life in such a positive way, in such a meaningful way, just from this like domino effect that you kind of helped kick off. You know what I mean? I guess. And you, you yourself, you've done that for so many people as well, because I know a lot of people, even your, even your earliest built videos are just some of the most viewed uh, videos in the, in the, in the industry, I think, ah, and helped so many people. Th they are, they help so many people build PCs. And yeah, it's so fulfilling to, to know that people have a, like a space where they can be themselves and and just share what they like. Yeah. Is that so hard to, to conceive? Like, right. I love PCs, awesome. Post about PCs, share your passion, yeah. discuss your doubts, uh, ask your simple questions. We actually have a right. daily thread on Reddit where no question is too simple or too right. stupid. Like, sure. Just no judging. Yep. Sometimes it might be it might appear super simple for people who, who, who know more about PCs. But of course. Everyone has to start somewhere. Exactly. And if we we establish, if we make make our walls too high, we we have to destroy the walls and For sure. let people in. You want to be a member? Okay, let let us help you. Yeah, right. Your budget is small. Okay, let's work with it. Exactly. What ac what what brands do you have access to? What stores and can you do used stuff? Yeah. There's, there's always no a there's no reason for someone to like close their borders to their their own favorite interest to other people. Of course. Like you, you would want your own, the community that you, you care so much about to grow. Oh yeah. And just by, by, just by being nice, you know, like to everyone, regardless of their skill level or, you know, if they're a noob or whatever, it's like. And the specs even, a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes people think, oh, PCMR, so you have to have a PC, it has to be good, or you're playing at 60, that's not PCMR. It can be, of course it can sure. be. Sometimes people don't even own a desktop, they have a laptop. Right because it might make more sense for them because they're always on the move because yeah. if you're a kid, maybe your parents don't allow you to, to buy a desktop. So, unfortunately, some cases like this exist. Sure. You're still a member, man. Exactly. Even if you don't have a PC, you just love yeah. PCs. You watch gameplays, you watch, I, I bet a lot of, you have a lot of viewers. I bet a lot of you of viewers, maybe they don't own PCs. Maybe they want to own a PC because of right. you. Right, right. Right? That's yep. so cool. And of course you're a member. Of course you are. I mean, that is literally the, it's like, it's like religion almost, you know, like, like it's like Christianity. It's like you only like you're a Christian. The only thing you need to do is believe in God. It's I like guess. the only thing you need to be in PCMR is just love PCs. It's yeah. like it's just one thing. And one there's requirement. a second one, which is want to be a part of the community. Sure. You want to be a part. Yeah. And you love PCs. That is true. You're more than welcome. That is true. There's probably some people out there who love PCs and they're like, I don't want friends. I guess. I'm just going to chill in my little cave. Yeah, I guess. Screw your little companionship <laughs> all you community driven just, fun guys having fun just play single player games <laughs> play single player games. <laughs> so sad that is so sad um what games do you play actually who lately it's been hard i don't know that one no, I, <laughs> i've played baldur's gate 3 okay so that i don't even i don't even like dnd i never played dnd before but i i yeah. played baldur's gate and now i'm like whoa this is incredible what a game yeah. So definitely one of, I would say it's probably one of my top five games of all time. Ooh, top five it's games. It's fantastic. It's really is fantastic. Dude, I, I, I see Boulder's Gate 3 and I'm like, one day when I have enough time. I mean, I have like a list in my mind of just like all the games that I don't have time to play now mm -hmm. that it, like when I retire, like I'm going to go through that list. You definitely Some people have a list with like movies, you know, their bucket list items for that. I have a list of games. And that must that is, be long. Yeah, because it's like, Baldur's Gate 3, that's a heavy game. Like, that's spend some time in there. Yeah, if you're not, like, I'm not a very completionist, but yeah. so I, I did, like, 110 hours, I think. Damn. Yeah. So if you are a completionist, yeah. it, that will take you a long time. For sure. But if you're just, like, casual like me, you're, but you'll have a lot of fun. That's the thing. It yeah. doesn't feel like a chore. That's what makes it a good game. Right. And you can clearly see the passion behind it. Definitely. It's really, definitely one of my favorite games of all time. And awesome. like I said, I don't even like, or I, I don't dislike the ND, but I don't like it because I've never I've never been into the scene. Yeah. But uh, someone who who is, it must be heaven. That oh, yeah. It must be amazing. Yeah, man. I can't imagine. And I do play some Call of Duty sometimes. So. Okay, cool. <laughs> nice. Uh, With friends, mostly. What game would you say you're, like, the most proficient at? Ooh, I suck at every game. Man. Dude, me too. Okay. I suck Thought at I was every alone. game. 
in but this. uh yeah i don't think there's any game i'm very proficient at i just oh, yeah. like to have some fun and i, I just suck yeah, yeah i'm just sure. like nvidia says that frames win games i'm sure they do but for me nothing saves me man frames win games if you're both the exact same skill set exactly <laughs> you know what I mean? if everything like, else sure. is equal yeah right <laughs> they do they do win yeah. games if you, you know win games it's being good at games exactly that's and the best thing you could do maybe it's old age i guess we're not like 17 anymore so yeah it's like our you know our motor skills have slowed down like our reaction times are definitely not what they used to be and we also just don't like we're busy we're busy working busy exactly. doing things we have lives families and it's like we don't have 20 30 40 hours a week to just play yeah like i used to and like that's why i used to be pretty decent at least i could hold my own in like a multiplayer like in call of duty or something like that but now it's just like i just get mowed down like just respawning every yeah. five seconds like boom 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 it's like dude i can't i can't keep compete i feel like i've i've gravitated towards more like single player games or like if i was playing more games i would do, i would go the single player route it's, it's, it's our age, man. Have you seen that that kid that finished like um, Tetris on on NES? Oh yeah, so awesome! That was insane. Just imagine being the first ever to do something. So we yeah. can definitely appreciate like being proficient at a game, but definitely. at least you were good at one point in your life. I don't yeah. think I ever was. Decent. I was okay. Like I was just you know I I, I was decent, but um, yeah, dude, it, it's crazy how we like humans just keep getting better at games and like just seeing like speed runs being done oh yeah with like you know elden ring and stuff like that i'm just like dude there's so much so many gifted people out there it's cool too and being able to appreciate that is awesome without envy whatsoever it's super yeah. cool yeah, like, yeah yeah damn these guys are good it's yeah try. yeah like some people will just watch like america's got talent you know and just and i'll just i'll just go straight to like uh just crazy Fortnite kills or something like <laughs> okay, that. Like, I don't even know how to play the game, but I just like I just know like I'm witnessing just magic happen in front of me. You know, it's just like I just can't believe like how good some of these guys are. Crazy Fortnite montage. Yeah, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the camera's Which is, I guess, kind of like 3D Tetris with guns, maybe. I guess everything is <laughs> in a way just ones yeah. and zeros. <laughs> everything is Tetris. Um, dude, this has been fun, man. Hell yeah. I, uh, I really appreciate you uh, just sitting down and getting to share some, some cool information and, and your thoughts on things. I think uh, PCMR is a wonderful community. And I, I see it, I don't see it going away anytime soon for good reason. Um, if you guys have not joined uh, and you love PCs and you want to be part of a community, exactly. definitely it's uh, just PCMR, right? Yeah, on, yeah uh, just right on Google, you'll, you'll get yep. there. Yeah. It's super easy. Like yeah. that's the thing, like being able to have a space to to share your interests and yeah. to to you might just just lurk. That's awesome too. Right, for sure. And just especially on Reddit, a lot of people are afraid of Reddit. Don't be afraid. Just just go in. Yeah. If not Reddit, there's PCMR elsewhere. PCMR is so accepting. And it's super cool to see different people who 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 might uh, disagree on a lot of matters, like join arms for their, for their love for PC. Yeah. And sometimes even discuss other matters. It does happen occasionally. Yeah. And. Uh, Seeing different people get along and realize that in the end we're all the same is, is definitely one of the things that I think translates really well to PC. PC is also a great like equalizer of opportunity and just sharing this information is so important. Being informed and being able to communicate is just makes it so much easier, so much better for everyone. Pedro, thank you very much for thank sitting you. down. An honor to be here talking with you, my friend. Thanks, man.